Hi, I'm Michael Pfeiffer from Industrial Metallurgists. This is a brief video that explains about metallurgy, that is the science of metals. It's a high level view of the things that are available to us to engineer metals, the different tools that are available for us to be able to get specific properties in metals to use for different applications. This slide shows the relationship between the properties of a metal, its composition, microstructure, and manufacturing processes. By understanding this relationship and understanding how we can use the different tools available to us, we can modify and manipulate a metal in order to get specific properties. So there's the composition of a metal that refers to the main element that's present in the metal, the alloying elements that are present and different impurities that might be present. We can change the main element, we can add different alloying elements, and we can also control impurities in order to get specific properties in the metal. The other thing is microstructure. Microstructure refers to microscopic structures within a metal. This includes grains and phases and the arrangement, the arrangement of the different phases within a metal. Also structures like dislocations and arrangement of the atoms within a metal. And we can use composition and also manufacturing processes to modify the microstructure of a metal in order to get specific properties. So we can engineer the microstructure of a metal, that en means engineering the phases present and engineering the grains in order to, to get different properties in the metal. And this, this tool enables us to get a lot of different properties for, for different alloys. And finally, there's manufacturing processes. This includes mechanical treatments such as cold rolling, extruding, forging, stamping, and also heat, treating, heat treatments, um, this annealing, quenching and tempering, also hot rolling, which is a mechanical and thermal treatment together. These processes modify the microstructure of metals, which then has an effect on the properties of the metals. So we see from this, this simple figure that there are a lot of tools available, available to us to engineer different metals in order to get specific properties. And this is super important for being able to, to, do, to um, develop and make components or engineer and make components that have different properties that are used in different applications. When we talk about properties, a lot of people think about just mechanical properties, that is strength, hardness, and ductility. But when we're modifying composition and modifying microstructure, we can influence other properties. That includes electrical properties, ease of fabrication, that is forming properties or machining, properties or cold heading, forging, and so on. Also joining properties, how easy it is to weld materials together, specific metal together, or to braze them or to solder them. Also reliability properties, how does the metal behave when it's exposed to corrosion conditions or wear conditions, fatigue and creep. So different, different metals will have different properties and the microstructures can be modified in order to get a different corrosion resistance, wear resistance, fatigue resistance and creep resistance. Then there's also cost, different alloys with different processing have different costs. And finally, there's physical properties, the density of the metals and the thermal conductivity and other physical properties. So when we're thinking about the properties of a metal and engineering a metal and engineering a component, we have to think about all the properties that are relevant for that particular metal or, or component. These concepts apply to all metals. This includes metal stock and uh, fabricated components. Components are fabricated by casting or stamping, machining, forged, extruding, and so on. And it also applies to metallurgical joints between components. This includes solder and braze joints, and weld joints between metals. And this, I have a, a brief example to illustrate the effects of, of um, processing on microstructure and the effects on the properties of a metal. So these are uh, two micrographs. Um, these are pictures taken with, using a microscope of, of two metal samples. They both were uh, 1060 steel, so it's iron with a little bit of manganese added to it and some carbon added to them but they were heat treated differently. So the one on the left was um, metal that was in the uh, hot rolled condition from the steel mill. Um, so this metal consists of grains of ferrite and regions of perlite. The metal on the right was the same composition as the metal on the left. And in fact, it had the same starting composition as the metal on the left, but then it was exposed to a heat treatment. It was heated up um, to around um, 700 degrees Celsius and held there for about 16 hours. And during that time, the, the cementite in the material, which is the dark colored material in this, in this micrograph, 
formed uh, spherical particles. So the difference between the sample on the left and the sample on the right is a sample on the left was much uh, stronger um, and be more. Uh, it also had lower ductility. The sample on the right had um, lower strength but better ductility. So the sample on the left would be good for an application for, let's say, for a, um, a structural component, whereas the sample on the right would be good for taking a piece of metal, let's say metal plate or metal sheet, and bending it into a specific shape because it has better ductility. And then that metal then might be subsequently heat treated to get a different microstructure that gives, gives different properties. So this is an example where heat treating was used to get specific properties that enabled us to do spe uh, specific things with the metal. And that's just one small example of the, of, of the effects of heat treating. So by understanding metallurgy, by understanding the relationship between the metal's properties and its composition and its microstructure and manufacturing processes, we can do a lot of different things with engineering. We can, first of all, develop a, a lot of different alloys that are used in different applications. And new alloys are being developed all the time for, for specific applications that have high performance and reliability requirements or even cost requirements that, that uh, current alloys don't have. Also, understanding this relationship enables us to develop high volume metal production processes that consistently um, produce tons of metal every single hour that have, that have properties that meet requirements. We're also, by understanding this relationship, be able to design components that are capable of meeting performance, reliability, and cost requirements by, by understanding the metallurgy and selecting metals and processes that result in, in metals that have a specific microstructure and specific composition that has the right, the properties that we need. Um, and then also we are able to fabricate components that have the properties that were required. And finally, by understanding the relationship between composition, microstructure, manufacturing processes and properties, we're able to perform failure analysis and root cause analysis when there are component failures and when, or when, when there are quality problems and take the information for, first of all, understand what analyses are required to understand what, what, what's going on with the metal, and then to take that information to understand what happened metallurgically with the metal, what went wrong. And we can only do all of these things by understanding the metallurgy of, of various metals, for, and specifically for the metals that we're working with as well. If you'd like to learn more, we offer a lot of different training um, opportunities for learning about metallurgy. We have online metallurgy courses. You can, that, that, that's available at this uh, URL here. We also offer webinars and webinar recordings and on-site training and information about all of these is available on our website. And through this training, you will learn about the, about metallurgy, the relationship between properties, composition, microstructure, and manufacturing processes. And that will help you better uh, engineer the components that are used in your products, better select materials and processes for fabricating components, and being able to, to better deal with problems and uh, both failures and quality problems when they arise, understand the steps to take, or be able to work with a metallurgical lab to get the information you need to solve the problem. So go ahead, start now. Don't waste time. Start learning metallurgy so you can be more productive and more efficient and just be a better engineer when you're dealing with metals. So thanks for watching and good luck with your metals. Bye.